Hello my friends and welcome to Tyria. I'm going to head straight into the story instance, else I'll die from hypothermia. <laughs> oh, what a good start. Oh, that larva, jungle larva. Um, I guess we're charging in. Anyways, I do want to apologize for uh, the lack of content. I've been dealing with a serious cold the last three weeks and it is kicking my behind. I'm gonna do my best to record this and we'll see how it goes. It has not been pleasant these last three weeks. But in some better news, however, I got a cable hooked up to my streaming setup. And so uh, once this cold is over, I'll be able to pick up streaming again. I am looking forward to interacting with all of you alive. Down the abomination and take a sample thing in magic. Champion unstable abomination. Immune to most damage, vulnerable to bursts of plant and death magic. Oh, so these guys. All right, you there? Come with me. Boop. Come on. Hey guys. Now oh, let's do this. Yeah. Gotcha. Oh, I can't hit you then. All right then. No! Hit him, hit him. Alright. That's about 15% per uh, pack. So 5% for every larva that I slay near its vicinity, huh? Boom. Boom. Let me heal up really quick. Yeah. Five. Hello, hello. Oh, we got a group of three here. Come on. Come on, buddy. Get him down. Perfect. That's another 20%. We're doing well, doing well. Let me heal up really quick. Come on, buddy. Over here. Yeah, that's what I thought. 20%. Do we have a group of four? We do. Look at that. Calculated. Calculate it. Gotta roll out of that. The other jungle larva. There we go. Alright, now the sample. Timey will be pleased. Alright. Okay. What's next? That was nice. Original, I like it. Uh, return to Sorrow's Eclipse and speak with deep water. Okay. Uh, uh, up here, yes. But yeah, the most annoying thing about my uh, cold has been the incessant coughing. Oh, I just can't stop coughing and it's been putting such a strain on my voice. Also, the more I talk, the more strain on my voice, which doesn't pair well with uh, the coughing. So yeah, that's why the lack of content. Again, I do apologize for that. All right, let's see. Dragon Slayer, I am delighted to see that you have survived your foray into our beautiful countryside. I took down some ice brood. I'm afraid I come bearing bad news, though. Oh, fool. Warden knew it. You found the missing herdmates, didn't you? Oh, boo. Unfortunately, yes. There were no survivors. That is quite distressing. Thank you for returning to let us know. We have news on your lost friend as well. <laughs> it's bad news, too. The Svanir are looking for him. They tortured this farmer to find out where he went. The Svanir who hurt you, what did they say? Oh, the sorcerer was mean. He wanted to know if Quaggan had seen a tall Norn, bald like Quaggan. He made Quaggan tell him where the Norn went. Quaggan didn't want to, but even more, Quaggan didn't want to die. It's okay. Did he say why he was looking for Bram? Yes, many times. 
He was angry because he thinks the Norn wore a disguise and tricked the Svanir out of an elixir recipe. Oh, whoopsie daisy. A disguise? And trick them? Oh no. I'll have to send Timmy's sample by courier. I need to find Bran. He was headed to a cave in the southwest. You might be able to follow the Svanir tracks. Alright, now I'm off then. Uh, yeah, I kind of sent the bad guys after Brian. That's, uh, that's uh, not good. Let's see, in this way? I think it's this way. Oh, this is an updraft. An updraft for the glider, double. Updraft for the glider, all right. I think the cave is somewhere over here, right? Yes, there we go. Oh, look at that. They take very small steps. These are some very small steps that they... Anyways, well, let's head on in. Footprints. The sons of Svanir must not be interested in covering their tracks. Oh, there we go. All right, time for some fun. These guys, wow, they hurt. Ooh, and they hurt a lot. Hang on, I need to heal up first before I do anything else. Oh yeah, that's a melee, melee range AoE. I see. Charge in. This isn't over yet. Oh yeah, more incoming. An elite. Oh. These are all veterans, and we got an elite as well. Yikes. Nope. Ah, uh, yeah, I jumped right into that. That sucked. I can get that guy down though. Oh, or that, that's good. I got him. Throw my sword at that guy. One more hunter. He's hiding in the corner. You do know we can see you, right, buddy? Alright, good talk. There we go. Fine. Wonder what that was all about. Did you steal something from them? They kept calling you a thief. I'm afraid this is my fault. I had to pose as a Svanir to get their Thaw Elixir recipe. They must have thought it was you for some reason. You had to what? Well, it's over now. Rox and I need to keep moving. Okay, let's go. Sure. Yeah, sure. Ah, uh, this is the Emo Bram storyline. Good to see you. I love it. How's the hunt for the scroll going? Almost at its end, or maybe a frustrating beginning. If it's not in this cave system, all my info was wrong and I'm back at square one. 
Did Timey get my letter? I assume that's why you're here. She did. It was quite a surprise after she learned that... How much do you know about what's happening? With Jormag? Plenty. No, that's not the... Primordis is active too. I heard. These dragons won't rest until we're dust. Well, Timey has a plan. I do too. I find a way to kill all the dragons or die trying. That's a little extreme. Pretty straightforward too. Talk to me after they've taken your mother. Something up ahead, boy? Sounds like other wolves. Alright. Fight of the attacking wolves. There they are. Whoa, Gavin. Okie dokie. Gonna be honest, didn't see that one coming. Oh, the daisy. Got him on the rebound, perfect. Jump through. Alright, hello. Whoa, that's a lot of damage. Hello, puppers. Friendly welcome for a friendly Yikes. Wolf. Well, we made it. That actually went so pretty the okay. Dragons aren't the only threats. A Mersat, Lazarus, is back and seems to have changed, but. And the human minister, Codicus, escaped custody and came out as the leader of the White Mantle. He's currently M.I.A. Kanak says it looks like he's making his way up to the Isles of Janthir. Sounds like a bunch of trivial human uh, matters. I don't care. It's dark. Time for some torches and a way out of this cavern. Use a torch. A spider webs. Sticky? The air is so still here. Oh. Must be the first people to pass through in a generation. Oh, also, let me quickly uh, open up the story so you can follow a little bit. Just in case. Ah, oh, spider webs. I wonder what's going to happen here. You'll have to forgive him, Commander. We've had a pretty tough. Hold up. These eggs. Everywhere. Yeah. Nobody touch. <sighs> Never mind. Frostbite is already covered in spider webs. We tripped their alarm. Ah, uh, of course we did. Elite gave spider hatchling. All right, ran them up. I've been dodging all of their poison. I love it. That one's wrong. Alright, 
it. Get some more. Get some more. Here, let me power up really quick. Whoop. One more. Perfect. Oh my god. How many eggs were there? spiders so these are no longer hatchlings we got the regular spiders now <laughs> oh, these have a lot more health. Damn. That's the last of them. Looks like we might be able to get through there if we can clear that web. Also, can we appreciate the fact here for a moment that I didn't get hit by a single poison spray? Now, not to toot my own horn, but that's impressive. Let's pick up the pace before more spiders show up. Bran, the reason I found you... I don't know if you heard, but we started a new guild. It'd be great to have you. Didn't feel like joining Destiny's Edge and continuing their legacy, huh? Ritlock said... I felt like that might be... Might come across as disrespectful. Disrespectful? To keep the memory of my mother and Snaff going? You and I must have different notions of respect. Oh, Brown, I'm sorry. This isn't the reaction I expected. It's okay, Commander. Maybe it's for me to keep alive. Another thing thrown on my pile of obligations now that I'm back home. Bram? This scroll isn't going to find itself. Let's go. Watch it! Ambush! Oh, I hate this. This Bram arc. I really do hate this Bram arc. Oh no, those those things. Nice. This was the first line of defense. I'd heard these things were guarding the scroll. I knew this was right. Might be in the next chamber then. If we could get through the ice wall, maybe Frostbite can fit through the crevice. Huh. Or there's the Bramway. Let's go. Nice. Ah, yes, this one. Right. It should be fun. It's here! Brown, you can't... Let's hold up a second here. I'll take that, thanks! Bram, move! Yep. Bram, she's frozen solid. Stay out of that thing's way. Whoa, I got slowed. Alright, so I believe I need to let that thing charge these rocks. Let's see, generating frost. Come on. Come on, Baba.
Whoa, that is not good. Ah, oh, why does he always charge when I'm not targeting one of those things? Whoa! Oh, Christ. Oh, Christ. Oh, lordy lord. Defeat the Ice Beast in under five minutes. Yeah, that's not going to happen. Um, yeah, this is, this is not going all too well. I am definitely going to die here. I cannot kill these guys. They have crystalline armor. Normal means of clearing the ice finds better will be ineffective. Whoa, hello? Why, why did I... I have no idea what, what happened. I need to like try and get him to crash into stuff. But he always targets me the second I'm next to oh. Does that hit? I don't think it did. Yeah, I'm dealing next to no damage. See, he always oh I let him crash into the, the little ones, huh? Hey, you, big guy, over here. Over here. Yeah, that's it. Great at me. Why did you stop, though? He stopped his charge. Oh, that's annoying. Try that again. Over here. Perfect. Got him. Alright, okay. I'm on it. I'm on it. Let me heal up. Yes, now charge me. I'm on it. Relax. Alright, bud. This way. There we go. Alright, now over here. Don't crash into the rock. He crashed into the rock. God damn it. Try that again. Perfect. Two for one, even. Very nice. Right, over here. Come on, bub. Over here. Got him. We got him. We got him. Scroll. It was true. Thank Wolf. It was true. Okay, now what? Oh, maybe we can maybe we can free rocks like this. My heart in this bow. No chill will extinguish its light. Was that it? Did it work? Ah, uh, no, we can't. Okay, yeah, shoot it, shoot it. Yes. All the way to the other side. Ice Beast entered the rage. Oh, it wasn't raging before. Could have sworn. Very annoying. You're just put into one CC after the other. Very, very frustrating. Yep. There we go. Oh, hi, Rox. You're looking a little bit frosty. <laughs> what happened? You were frozen. I was frozen? So weird. It was like a dream and I was on a beach. you think it'd be the opposite. Well, we're glad you're back. Did we get the scroll? Sure did, Rox. Thanks. And now? This is similar to the scroll Aesgear used in his great victory. So now I test the bow on the tooth in the Great Hall. If I damage it, it's time to rally the Norn and lay Jormag to rest. Bram, you can't... 
Let's hold up a second here. A direct assault on Jormak puts a lot of lives on the line. I think the Pact can tell you that may not be the best idea. The Pact you commanded? Look, Jormag is my problem, and I'll deal with it my way, with or without you. Jormag isn't just your... Look what happened to Rox when you rushed in and bashed something. Oh, I forgot your calculated plans always work out perfectly, like when you posed as a Svanir to get some potion. Okay, okay, can we back up? Timey thinks there may be a way to pit Primordus and Jormag against each other without raising a single sword. Timey thinks, huh? If the tooth chips, we have hard proof. Hard proof of what? That you can battle a tooth? So only you get to decide when we take down a dragon? Only you are allowed to kill them? That's not what I'm saying. Well, figure out what you're saying, because that's what it sounds like. I'm only asking you to wait. Maybe just a few days. See if Timey can do this. There could be no need to put lives at risk. With every moment we wait, someone else's mother dies. I won't give Jormag a few days. I won't give Jormag a few minutes. The Norn elders told me the legend of the tooth. But I've also been out in the world and faced two of these things. One with you. They're not to be taken lightly. You think I take it? You know what, Commander? I'm glad you didn't join Destiny's Edge. My mother wouldn't want you in there. I'm headed back to Holbrek. Garm, to me. So... Go ahead. He certainly doesn't want to be around me right now. Do you think he'll do it? I hope cooler heads prevail. He has to see this isn't the way to go. He can indeed battle a tooth. <laughs> Alright, next up, what do we have? A crack in the eyes. Your next in journal? Head of the snake. Oh, yes, yes, yes. The white mantle. Alright, here we go. Here we go. Ah, bum, 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 bum. Nope. <laughs> this one. Head of the snake. Queen Jenna summoned you to an emergency gathering of the Ministry in Divinity's Reach. What are her plans for Krita and what role will you play in them? Let's go! Yeah, this is like a, such a jump in the, um, in the story. From the Queen herself. Tiny, do you read me? Uh, oh, Commander. Oh, well, I must have nodded off there for a second. I'm headed to Divinity's Reach to meet the Queen, but have you heard from Bram? No, sorry. Rox got word through, though. Apparently she talked some sense into him. He formed an exploratory committee, let's say. They're making their way up to Jormag as we speak, to see what kind of damage they can do before mobilizing a larger force. I'm worried about him, Commander. He's calling this group Destiny's Edge. I don't suppose Ritlock or Kate had any say in that. No. I don't... I don't want to lose him to Jormag, and if we're right about its weakness, he won't stand a chance. How are we doing on that front? I have an idea. A great idea. Well, brilliant, really. But I need to complete the experiment with the samples, then reach out to some contacts to see if I can get what I need for that aforementioned brilliant idea. I'll keep you posted. Anyway, say hi to the Queen for me. Do you know her? I feel like I do, after all the gossip rags I read. Do you know she doesn't wear shoes? Try not to stare at her feet now that I told you that. You're a huge help, as always. Get some rest. Bye! Alright, very insightful information. Let's uh, head over to Divinity's Reach. Yeah, that is like, the, the the jump in the story here always confused me, but Brian now took like an expeditionary force up north to where Jormag is. 
and we get to play that story later or like the, the follow-up of that story later in uh, living world season four i believe it, it was all it, it was a bit confusing first time i played through this but you get used to it but now though we are invited to um queen jenna's place Slow me down, right? Whatever you want, make it fast. All right. Enter instance. A meeting of ministers. All righty then. Meet with Queen. Okay, we're in the throne room. Going to show the proper are. respect. The illustrious leader of Dragon's Watch. Welcome. I appreciate the sentiment, Your Majesty, but I feel like I haven't been much of a leader lately. I don't know how you do it. You have a whole kingdom to worry about, while I can't even manage to keep a handful of people driving toward one purpose. Oh, apparently we're walking this way. It's nice. a trying task, but to be honest, sometimes I envy what must be the simplicity of your life. This place is all politics and subtext. Do a thing one person likes and three hate you for it. It can get very complicated. You, <laughs> you just relentlessly smash things until they're no longer at odds with you. I wish it were like that around know? here sometimes. <laughs> Well, uh, what can I smash for you today? I believe a white mantle attack is imminent and must take certain actions here in Divinity's Reach to ensure its safety. The fact that you're not really describing these actions makes me think they might be a little unorthodox. What do you think of this garden, Commander? It's lovely. Isn't it? And to preserve such a marvel requires constant maintenance. Sometimes weeds creep in, and sometimes you must eradicate them, lest your garden become unkempt. I see. Oh. I've called the ministers here under the auspices of a reassuring gathering, but I really need to deliver what some will consider shocking news. Your presence here will go a long way to ease minds, so please, mingle. And also, keep an eye out. Any evidence of white mantle meddlings you find would only support my actions. I'll do some digging. And, your majesty, you missed a weed here. That looks like one, but it's actually the Crichton Spiderwort. It'll bloom soon, and its petals give you the most luscious dyes. It's my favorite flower. It hides its true potential from most, and then blossoms into something great. Happy hunting, Commander. Mingle with the meeting attendees. Okie dokie. Uh, something else you need. I'm surprised you invited me here instead of a niece. Where is she? Occupied. As for your invitation, you're a trusted friend and I have no doubt your presence is a welcome. Alrighty then. Let's uh, go and mingle. Minister Wee. Minister? How good it is to see you at a time like this. We have reason to distrust anyone at this meeting. People who cross over, and it could be anyone. People you would never expect. Like your daughter? Yes, Fallet made a horrible mistake. Oh yeah, that's the one that was with uh, Minister Codicus. You know, when we went to arrest him, that's actually the one that teleported him away to safety. There is a very disturbing storyline about that coming in later, uh, but I don't want to spoil it. Just, uh. Uh, We are devastated, as you can imagine, but our daughter's actions are not our own. Your association with Fallet raises suspicions about your allegiance. The Queen has no reason to be concerned, and neither do you. My wife and I have always worked for the betterment of Krita. Alright. Open the next one. Oh, we got a Shining Blade. I think I can speak for the Shining Blade. I say I'm glad you're here with us, Commander. I'm honored. Looks like you've got plenty of support from the Ministry Guard. Indeed, there are a lot of Ministry Guards here. This is a meeting of the Ministry, so I suppose it makes sense. Still, something about it has me on edge. So, Shining Blade takes an oath to protect its throne and cry to above all. Ministry guards, however, pledge their allegiance to the legate minister, the Podicus. Oh. Okay, uh, do you think any ministers still hold allegiance to that traitor? I have my suspicions, no proof. In any suspicious activity? I haven't, but I'm not so foolish to think that just because I don't see it, it's not there. Anyone that you are particularly suspicious of? I'd rather not point any fingers or risk a false accusation. Suffice that, yeah, tell me now. 
I'm surprised to see Estelle is still a part of the ministry after she was caught lying about. That is a good point. We saw that in one of the previous uh, storylines. She was lying through her teeth. Quite a lot of guards at this ministry meeting, huh? Yes, it seems they outnumber us at least three to one. More like a militia meeting, if you ask me. Uh, at least we're all a bit safer. Are we safer? I think these extra guards send the opposite message. Well, we should do our best to keep up appearances. The people need it with the white mantle out there. I'm grateful I got invited to this event at all. I'm starting to wish I stayed home. All right. Uh, good show. Lord Farron. Commander, what a pleasure. What brings you to this ministry meeting? Oh, he's my plus one. I didn't want to be the only minister to come without a guest. Plus, I like to keep some muscle around during these dangerous times. <laughs> I see. I can never turn down the lady's invitation. Should a white mantle dare to show their faces, Swordmaster Farron will put them in their place. Seen anything suspicious? Thankfully, no, but I've been rather busy chatting with Minister Marula. Don't let me distract you all evening. All right, well, that... Uh is unbelievable okay all right what's going on what is going on talk with the gate attendant no oh, bother not again uh the golems on fire the white mantle calm down calm down third time this week this old guy's gone down ah i have to manually enter manifest data when he's offline can you would you mind getting him up and running while I keep the gate's records? Sure. Uh, Ford. How do I do and that? Do be quick about it. My hand cramps easily. Fix the golem. This is an odd method of repair. He can be a bit finicky, but the fix-it interface, or fixter face, I've created should make it clear what he needs in order to be fixed. Do you think that'll catch on? I was also toying with combining display and repair into disrepair. Oh, my. Never said that aloud. All right, there we go. Now I got the hang of it. That's actually not too difficult. All right, I think we got it. Fixed? Thanks. When you retire from dragon slaying, you should think about opening your own golem repair shop. No one came in or out, so I didn't end up needing to man the gate locks. Plus, I needed the break. Glad I could do your job for you. By the way, I found this part, but I didn't know where it went. Looks a little like... I've never seen that before. I don't know what it is, but it's not part of this golem. Huh. Hey, Timey. Hold on! Okay, I'm here. What's up? <laughs> is the communication device you gave me one of a kind? Probably not. I mean, mine is by far the best and most advanced, but there are others out there. Wait, why do you ask? I found a device that looks a lot like the communicator. If it was planted here by the White Mantle, they could be listening in. I'm guessing it isn't the only one. Oh, if you want, I can use your communicator to send out a high-frequency ping that'll help you find any others in your area. Let's do that. I'll get what I can and show the Queen. Oh, be sure to let her know I helped! Alright, we're going treasure hunting. Let's see. Uh, this... This way, I guess? Does this mean we're getting closer? Oh, hello. It does indeed. The devices have a security system. A Great justice on my Got him. I'm gonna have a chat with Minister Estelle over here as well. Some kind of commotion, or is that gate golem acting up again? This bit shouldn't interrupt your gatherings any longer. Now, yeah, but notice you're speaking with the queen earlier. Pillar of strength under pressure. 
Being that I worry for her, for us. Yes, the white mantle are beyond despicable, aren't they? White. Power hungry mongrels with nothing more than gold in their eyes, indeed. I stepped on things with more moral authority than those poisonous toads. Very clear how you feel about the white mantle. Your friend Cotticus' association with them must have rattled you. Uh, no one was more shocked. Uh huh. Even with all the rumors circulating before he broke out. I tried to ignore gossip. People caught spreading such filth should earn a trip to the gallows. I should. <laughs> feel the same way about traders. They should watch their necks. Oh, I love it. Alright, let's go and look for the other ones. Somewhere over here, probably. Oh, very close. It's up here. Yes. Yep, there we go. Alright, got him. This way. Alright, show Queen Jenna the evidence. Commander, I was just trying to reassure the Wees here. It's a stressful time for them. Well, not just them, for everyone. The Queen is politely dancing around the fact that our daughter is a... is on the wrong side of this. Have you heard from her? At all. We haven't heard from Valette. That doesn't mean we won't. She's a good girl, Commander. Just a little mm -hmm. lost. I bet she She'll is. Find her way home. We only want to hear her play the violin again. We all do, Minister. May we speak a moment, Your Majesty? Of course. Pardon us. <laughs> There's a Ministry Guard here. We should watch what we say. All right. I found these listening devices around the courtyard. They could be White Mantle. Thank you, Commander. I needed evidence like this to support my stance. It appears this is an opportune time, then. Allow me to excuse myself. I have a speech to give. Queen Jenna in the Chamber of Ministers. Isn't that where we're kind of going already? Minister Wee just on his way running. At least they're keeping in shape. Ministers and members of the royal court. For years we've had a fester inside the kingdom. A creeping undertow that sucked some of our friends and family into its darkness. Now, with Confessor Codicus at the White Mantle's helm, this seething conflict will soon come to a head. As we are poised to be smashed between two rising elder dragons, we cannot stand for a threat from within. For this reason, I'm hereby suspending the ministry until the danger has passed. Oh, Some snap. of you will understand it's for your safety. Others will understand that I have trapped them here, far from the White Mantle's network. You cannot! Uh -uh. I won't be treated uh -uh. like a common doliac, herded into a pen and kept as livestock. I am no criminal. You claim this will keep us safe. From what? Who will keep uh -uh. us safe from uh -uh. you, I say? Good minister, this measure is temporary, I assure you. Only until the kingdom is safe from attack and the traitors in our midst have revealed themselves. The commander has already there verified- There is no attack. This is an autocrat's ploy. Fellow ministers, this is a moment in life, a rare moment where you will look back one day and say, I made a stand or I did nothing. Do you silently let the queen capture your voice and the voice of the people? 
or do you make enough noise that the six gods themselves hear us say nay when my grandfather whoa what was that something's happening oh there we go <laughs> yeah, she's pretty powerful herself as well. Alright, here we go. Here we go, I'm drawing my sword. With the queen. You. Got that one down. I got that. I got interrupted. Hearing one of my stronger spells. Hate it when that happens. Nope. All right, we got the defectors. Prepared for many contingencies. There are some defenses ready to set up right outside the chamber. Quickly! <laughs> Cover me while I set up this defensive barrier. Oh, we got the Shining Blade. Can I, these guys are so cool. Shining Blade. Whoa. Hey, 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 hey. I'm your target. Why am I crippled? Nothing hit me. Taking so much damage. Okay, could you like stop running into that wall? You're making yourself look like an idiot. And me along with you because I'm trying to hit you. Save me, Queen Jenna. Time to rage. Oh, I hate these mesmers. Is taking a beating. No oh, damage, damage, damage. I need to kill this guy. This one. Oh, Queen Jenna's going down. Oh, let's go, Queen. Oh shit. Okay. Oh, 
Alright. To heal up. She stopped to attack. God damn it. Oh, and now she agrees to run. Christ, they just keep coming. Alright, then fire it up. Let's go. Ah, uh, 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 Jenna. Ah, uh, of course. Fellow ministers, join me and help the white mantle rid Krita of this illegitimate ruler, or stand by her side and be judged by my fire. Estelle, what a surprise! Who could have seen this coming? You? No. Oh. Maybe you. Oh snap, Queen! There's another one right there. You, my friend? Were Got her. You yes. Get back here, you oh, you're lucky, son of a. I hate to break it to you, but I won't run as easily. I was honored when Cauticus tapped me for the job of regicide, and I will see it to its bloody end. Not on my watch, Estelle. Logan. Captain Thackeray, beyond brave as always, but I need you leading the defense of the city. I'll handle this bloated tick. Handle me? Yeah, <laughs> bloated you tick. Love it. This hamstrung doormat is your only hope, and I'm about to kill him just to put him out of his lovesick misery. The stone. What? The whole ministry knew it. Yeah, they kind of did. That slight. Oh yeah, there we go. Queen Jenna. Oh, snap. Oh. Okay, that was kind of fun, but that hurt. We can like, knock it off with the tornadoes. Okay, lady, you're getting on my nerves now. I feel like I need to interrupt that. Yeah, I did. I did need to interrupt that. God damn it. Got her. That's the last of them, then. For now. That, uh, that was an impressive show, Your Majesty. It was. <laughs> How'd you like smashing things to solve your problems? I never want to take up arms against one of my subjects, but uh, I think I might be quite suited for your lifestyle. I'll save you a spot in Dragon's Watch if you ever decide to step down. Very kind. Now, what's the situation outside the city? The White Mantle Army is making a push from the lake, but we don't know the full extent of their numbers. I'm headed down to set up a command tent at Doric's Landing. It's good to see you on your feet again. I'll meet you there. Great. We could use the help. Talk to Lieutenant Fours in the Plaza of Lissa. I'll make sure you're granted access to the battlefield. Logan, please don't slow your recovery by doing something like getting yourself killed. Commander, thank you. And watch out for the weeds. Dying does tend to slow down recovery, that is a fact. <laughs> Anyways, uh, we are heading to Lake Dorek, which is... I jumped, I randomly jumped. Which is like, just north of here, I believe? Oh, um, no, more to the east, more to the east. I know my locations, don't worry about it. Anyways, that is going to be for next episode, though. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to boop that like button. And subscribe if you haven't yet. What are you doing? Take care, my friends. And bye-bye.